Hey there, this is Jen Wiederstrom. Thank you for joining me behind the scenes of Fitness RX for Women. You know, being a part of The Biggest Loser brings up a lot of feelings to me. I have this incredible feeling of, of being humbled and, and to represent my peers in the wellness community, to get to work with so many new people on such a big scale. Um, I'm excited, I'm nervous, you know, new kid on the block. I've got a lot of things that I gotta learn fast and I've got a lot of people counting on me. So I'm excited, I'm joyful, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little crazy, but ready, for sure, ready to be a part of it. Our theme of the season is glory days. So we've got all these incredible people and athletes that were Olympians and NFL players and just all these people that have trained at such a high capacity in their past and they get to bring that kind of energy and conviction to this season. And it's really nice because I think not only is it going to create a really special challenge for them in this phase of their lives, but it's going to create a really cool challenge for the trainers as well. I have so many quotes that I love and live by, but I will give you one of my favorites and it totally speaks to the weird sci-fi woman that I am. Do or do not, there is no try. From, of course Yoda that guy knows his stuff right like he trains Jedi's and I feel like there's something really real about that it's do it or do not make the choice participate in your life don't try don't don't be iffy don't warm up to something go for it when it comes to a point in a relationship with a client where they start to lack motivation they start to question the journey I like to remind them where they started what things motivated your decisions why did you want to start to invest in yourself? And I like to help them remind them of that through their own words. Me telling someone to do X and Y will do nothing from the outside. If I start from within them and I create a dialogue that sources from what truly lights them up, what speaks to them, that's how I get them back on track. And fitness has been part of my life for a very long time. I started as a kid doing sports. My, both my parents are teachers and coaches. So for me, um, athletics were always kind of in my day to day. But it's interesting because fitness never really became important to me until I got into my 20s because, you know, sports were done. I had done college track and there was no one telling me I got to log this workout, get to the gym or do this practice. So for the first time, I became personally responsible for the way I felt, the way I chose to move and work out, the way I chose to um, pick out my nutrition and portions and stuff like that. So I don't feel like I really was in touch with my fitness until my mid 20s. And at that point, I realized. You know, I, w I was basically eating and consuming the same amount and working out almost, no almost nothing at all. And I didn't like the way I was feeling. And I decided, I want to feel good. And what things make me feel good that is working out, that is moving my body, that is making better food choices, that is not eating an entire pizza, which was totally like a normal thing for me. So it was, it's funny because I feel like I'm in the, I just, I was an infant in my fitness in my 20s and now that I'm in my 30s, I feel like I've kind of graduated to the next level and, and finally teaching it to others. I am someone that doesn't believe in diets. I believe in finding foods that really work for your body, finding foods that you enjoy. So personally, my day kind of looks like egg whites and oatmeal in the morning, sometimes regular eggs, whatever I'm in the mood for. I definitely have thoughts of fruits and vegetables. I, I'm of the sense, uh, I'm of the idea that 70% of your plate should be grown and about the other 30% should be from an animal source. So I kind of have that as my focus. And, you know, some candy always jumps into my day at some point. You know, if we went to Hooters, I'd get beer and wings, you know, so that's in my diet for sure. But on a day to day, I like to have good, nutritious food just because I feel the best when I'm having it. It's hard to try to think about where I'm going to be in the next few years because I don't even know what underwear I'm wearing tomorrow. Like, I don't know what my next few days look like. <laughs> but I will say, I would like to be excellent. I just want to kill it at my job. I want to be great. I want to be there for the contestants that come on the show. I want to be present and I want to make sure they have the support and the mentorship they need. That's one goal. Um, I've already started writing a book that kind of that's come up and actually I was writing it before the show even became an option so I'm excited to share that and I don't know besides going home for Christmas I can't I can't, I can't think of what else is coming up for me I really want to be I feel like I don't want to look too far ahead because I'm so focused on the now so that's it <laughs> I'll, I'll floss better
That's what's going to happen. And the next few years, I'll start flossing more. No, I get approached really often with women that are struggling to get in shape, that are struggling to meet their fitness goals. And the number one thing I would offer to, the number one thing I offer to them and anyone that's wondering how to kind of turn that corner is be consistent. To hit a workout and then drop it for a week or two or a month or whatever that turns into becomes too hard to restart again and again. And it's not just the physical, women are tough. We'll handle the soreness, we'll handle the workout. It's the emotional up and down. It's the, oh, I'm starting again, I'll probably quit again. And it, it creates a sense of doubt. And it's it's really hard on, I think, on a, on a woman to uh, do that start and stop. So what I say is consistency. Stabilize the variables. Make sure you're logging whatever you need to log, whether that's like, if it's two workouts a week and it's Friday and you haven't logged your two, well then you're doing one Saturday and Sunday. Be consistent and be excited about how you feel when you're consistent with those workouts.